So now you are getting this objection of your price is too high. You are sitting in front of client and the client is saying he can't afford you. And now you want that client to pay you, right? You have spent some time with him. So now you are desperate. And the desperation, you say, okay, have you checked me with other guys? Have you checked Have you checked the market? This is the market price or below the market price, I am offering you the service and still you are not paying me. So when the customer says, you are charging me more or I can't afford you, he actually doesn't mean that. I have seen people not paying 2000 rupees as a consultancy charges to the people person but next day he went out with his family spending more than 20,000 rupees for one day, one single day and he was reluctant to pay 2000 rupees for a single one day workshop. So what it indicates that it was never about the price. It was never about the price. It was about the perceived value of you. When the client says that he can't afford you indirectly what he says that I don't find enough value in you. So your social media, your branding, all those things should be so powerful that your value should always be filled by your potential clients. You know, your dressing, the way you speak, the way you present your thoughts, all those things are having that coherence in which your value will always be brought up in their eyes that is the first but if at all you still have this question when you are sitting in front of client and you have this question about the cost most of the time the objection is not about the cost so you need to go beyond it so you can handle this particular objection in various ways one of the ways you can ask that directly that let's assume that I take care of this problem of cost let's assume I bring it down to something which is affordable to you. What do you think? Can you pay it today? Can you pay it now? This is a qualifying question. So if the answer is yes, it means the, the, end, the exact problem was the cost. But if the answer is no, I will still have to think. It means that the problem is not about the cost. The problem is about the perceived value. So at that time, what you can do, you can ask several other questions like we can ask another question okay so once you know this particular answer of his that the he will have to think then you can go deeper and ask him again that what exactly you need to think at times he may say okay he needs to go and check with the uh, wife or with the partner so you need to ask them okay what if your wife says yes and what if your wife says no how are you going to take a decision? If Y says yes, then are you going to pay? If the answer is yes, ask him to call his wife right now because right now is the chance wherein you can solve all his doubts about your course or your service. Once he goes away from you, there is no chance. So pitch this to him that right now is the chance that you call your wife and ask her. If she yes, you sign up the course. If she, she, if she says no, we can still solve her doubts as well because I'm in front of you, I'm in the right position to give the answers. If he talks over the partner, do the same thing. Ask him to call his partner right now. Remember, the moment that customer goes away from you, you have lost the sale. There is no other opportunity to make the sale right now because sales never happen in comfortable thing, comfortable position. It always happens in the awkward and uncomfortable situations. So you need to create the situation for your customer. Then you need to ask the question. Then that is one kind of objection. The another kind of objection would be, I don't have time. So again, you need to go back and dig deeper to understand what exactly the problem of the customer. Let's assume that person says, I don't have time. So you need to arrange the things in a manner that the time will be suitable for him. Solve that problem and then again back. Let's assume I solve your problem of time. Let's assume I arrange something in which your time's problem gets solved. Will you be able to pay right now? That should be a qualifying question again. And like this, you can you know, dig deeper in every other objection of phase which comes after this particular objection, I can't afford you. 
and if he says okay you can if you can solve the problem of my charge money you know if you can solve the problem of money at that time you either can give the discount if the problem is money you can either give the discounts or you can give him the more payment options you know in, in which he can have the part payments and this like that and that is how you can solve it if if this is not the case if this is not the case and if he still is giving you the challenge of affordability then at that time what you can ask him like is what is the thing because of which you want to hire me what problem of yours you think that i can solve then you need to ask another question that why do you think that people pay me this much of money to solve their problem and the third question which you can ask him is like what is more important let's assume i solve your this problem with this much of money which i am i have asked you so solving the problem is more important or saving that money is more important what is more important for you so these are the qualifying uh, questions wherein the whatever answers that person is going to give you will qualify whether that person is going to pay you or not for example the first question was the first question was about why he wants to hire you so that why will define his problem area why exactly he wants to hire you the second question which we asked him about what why people pay us that much of money so in that question also he is qualifying us for uh, for him you know the more he thinks about your qualification the the more he is going to support you out the more he is going to buy you because now he is qualifying you for others so he you are getting qualified in his mind as well so the more this thing happens you know in the last question wherein we are bombarding on his problem that what if your problem is getting solved With this much of money, is the money important or the problem getting problem solved important? In these three question, it is these are qualifying question wherein the your prospect will qualify himself for you. If if after this question, if it is not getting qualified, you need to let it go because that customer was never yours. So this is the the another you know interesting way to handle this objection of your price is too high. Thank you very much for watching. This is the logo guru Sudhir Kowe.